Hey guys, now I'm gonna show a variation for my knee bar setup based on my opponent's reaction when I'm going for the toe hold ankle lock series and how he defends and how we're gonna get into the knee bar this time. So I'm gonna be here in the double hold position here, just like before. And I'm gonna set up the position the same way. I'm gonna get the ankle lock here. I'm gonna start going for the toe hold. When I go for the toe hold again, I'm always controlling the outside of the knee, like the Kimura sweep, sitting up on my elbow and getting up on my body. And now I want to go for the toe hold here. When I go for the toe hold, I hold the toe and I start trying to bend the toe here to get the toe hold. But this time, Hinato's gonna have a really strong foot. So I can't bend his toe and I, and his toe is kind of pointed the other way. So it's hard for me to attack the toe hold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my head to this side of his body. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up his body and I'm gonna place my leg under his body here. When I place my body under his body, I'm gonna use my head on his foot to point his toes toward the mat. Now that his toes are pointed toward the mat, I pull my body in. I'm gonna take my leg out. And I'm, I, I'm gonna lock the bottom leg on top. If I lock this leg on top, it's easier for him to open his leg and it's easier for him to put weight on me. So I can't, he can put pressure on me here. But go back. But if I put this leg on top, put pressure on me. It's hard because this bottom leg is able to anchor down his leg, so he can't put weight on me. So now it's a lot easier for me to pinch my legs, squeezing his leg, making his toes toward the mat, holding the heel, and stretching and applying pressure. But it's very important this bottom leg is on top. And I'm always facing his toes this way. If I don't face his toes this way, he can open his knee, he can open my knee, and he can defend because if he gets his toes pointed that way, I lose the pressure on the knee bar. So I have to keep his toes this way to keep his knee pointing this way. Wherever direction his toe is, his knee will be. So if he gets his toes this way, I'm gonna lose the pressure on his knee for the knee bar. So I gotta keep his toes this way, and now his knee will stay that way. I use my head on the foot. So I put pressure on my head to turn his foot and now I can use my hand on his heel to reinforce that. So now I have two fronts on his foot, making his foot face that way. So now I can put pressure and apply the knee bar. So again, I'm here in the double position. I get the collar. I start going for the ankle lock. Here, I grab the knee like a Kimura sweep. I sit up, I start going for the toe hold. His foot is too strong. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move his foot to the other side. And as I do that, I'm going to take my leg out, I'm going to fall to the floor. And when I fall to the floor, I'm going to connect my head here. Now, once I have my head connected, this leg doesn't matter. I can move it here, or I can stay here. As long as I keep his toe pointed this direction, I can finish the knee bar. And as I'm going here, he's going to start putting weight on me. It's easy to take out the leg. So if you didn't have the timing to take it out initially, it doesn't matter. It's fine. You can finish like this. But it's better if you could time it to get here, because this is... When the legs are locked, it's way stronger to finish the knee bar. So now it's way easier for me to finish the knee bar here. Okay, so I'm going to be here. Here. I'm going to go for the ankle lock. I'm going to be here. I'm going to grab the knee. I'm going to go on my elbow. I can put my foot on the floor to sit up. I can keep my foot on the hip. It doesn't matter. I sit up. Now my weight's on my head. So now I'm going to go for the toe hold. Trying to bend his foot and making his toes point that way. He defends by making his toes point this way. So now I see, okay, now I'm gonna go knee bar. So now all I'm gonna do is lift up his heel, put my head here, and I'm gonna bring my leg in. So here, here. Now I have my head on his toe, I hug, I take out my bottom leg if I want, I can finish here, no problem. I, I think it's way stronger if I can take out this leg and get my legs locked, because now he can't put weight on me, no, no way. So now I'm here, I hold the heel, I keep his toes this way because he's going to defend bringing his toe this way now, like the toe hold. He's going to want to go the toe hold direction. I can't go toe hold here because the angle is bad. So I have to keep his weight in the knee bar. So I keep my head here. I hug. I hold the heel. I pinch my knees and I'm going to stretch to finish the position. Again. Here, I sit up. I go on my head and my knee. I can adjust his toes strong. I go his fall. I get my head here. I put pressure one. The second one. Two. So now let me show you real speed for the position.
Now you notice also when I'm here, how every time I'm doing it, I'm using my other hand. So I'm here, I'm here. When I go here, I use this hand on the floor, the pose, to get my bottom leg down. This is helping me get my bottom leg under his hip. So when I'm here, when I go for the toll, he turns his feet, I lift up his heel, I post my hand on the floor. Now I can get my bottom leg in way easier to get back to this position. To lock my feet, and they're sitting far. Again, 